And it's a new day out here in Gallery Garage. And what I have planned today is I'm gonna be working on the bed itself. Uh, I gotta take the light bar off. I know I gotta do that right away. And then I gotta flip it over because it needs some repairs on the bottom. A couple of the welds are cracked. And then, I don't know if you remember, on the old bed, one of the brackets were broken and actually gouged one of the rails. So I'm just gonna fill that in, grind it down, and fix that up. So, I'm gonna work on that today. I get this light bar off. The light bar didn't work. The lights turned on, and it is for sale. $3,000. That's a nice light bar. Comes with the pollen too. So here's another $2, $3. This piece of wood is also for sale. It's like a three inch by 12 inch by however long that is, uh, 60 grand. I will trade a car for it if you're interested. You know, at the high prices of lumber these days. And, oh, and I got two of them. So, you know, uh, yeah, I'll trade your car for a piece of wood. UV blaster. It's got two nuts. Okay, that went a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> Rusty. So now's the fun part. Now I gotta flip this bed over without damaging it too much. I'm gonna give it a try. Hopefully I get it up onto the side and put a strap around it to let it go nice and easy. But I have a feeling that this thing is just gonna slam. All right, we got the bed upside down. And this is what I gotta work on. So there's like a couple cracked welds here. Gotta gouge them out, re-weld them. And then, you know, there's a bunch of little welds like that all around that I gotta fix. Not too crazy. And then on this side, this is the uh, this is the tough one. I don't know if you can see that. That's, that's that bracket, it gouged it. So I have to kind of bend it back together and then re-weld it and I gotta scrape all this grease off. That's what I'm gonna work on now. Let's see how far I get. This shouldn't be too bad. Do I have dirt on my face? Well, I just pressure wash this thing. Gave it a good deep clean. I, uh, I started scraping off the grease. I got all the heavy stuff off and I gave it a good pressure washing because some of the, the welds that I need to fix were pretty dirty. So, it's not bad. Almost 40 years of grime and grease and junk all cleaned off of this thing. So it looks a lot better now. So now I'll just get it over into the, sh the welding spot and I'll be good to go. Get all these repairs done. Did a pretty good inspection. These are all the welds that I gotta fix. On this side, there's a bunch of them on the same area on the insides all the way down and then this was the gouge that i was talking about it's almost all the way through and it's probably like 10 feet long it's actually through here you can see the crack where it, it made it all the way through so i gotta try to fill that in best as i can so i'm gonna use the miller multimatic 220 i got a aluminum spool gun i'm, I'm not gonna take this stuff there's too much too much to weld the spool gun will work just fine and I'll weld it up. I'm gonna sneeze. Hey, <coughs> <coughs> pollen. <coughs> All right, being at the aluminum is like 30 years old and it's pretty dirty. I tried the spool gun and the spool gun was not liking it. So I did it with TIG 
and you can see that the aluminum is pretty uh, i did a little dip right there oops uh the aluminum is kind of dirty i tried to clean it as best as i could but the tig welding is doing a lot better as you can see so it's not it's not perfect i'm not really good at tig welding but it's working a lot better than the spool gun so i'm just gonna keep going with the tig welder Oh man, what a day. Well, I finished all the repair on the bed. This whole side from here, about 10 to 12 feet all the way down, was gouged all the way through. I had to fill it, I had to TIG weld it. It was, it was a nightmare. It took me, it took me, I started at 10 and it's like six now. Almost eight hours to weld this thing, that's nuts. But it's done. So it's ready to go onto the truck. So I'm gonna go eat some food and I'll be back and we'll flip this thing over and we'll see what we can do next. All right guys, today a lot is happening. First off, I got a lot of packages just came in. I got air tanks. I don't know what's in these yet. Second, the bed is finally going on the truck. Is I've been working my butt off to get this thing on here. What I did was just to make sure that it actually fits. I only welded certain spots that I knew were strong enough just to test the bed. So I got some welds here, got some welds here. And once the bed is on and it's functioning, then I know everything fits, everything works, then I'll weld everything else up. Because like, say this was in the wrong area, right? I can just cut this one weld instead of cutting every single weld all the way around. So it's a little easier. So I'm gonna open up these boxes, see what's inside, and then I'm gonna work on getting the, the bed on. And I should have all the parts for the hydraulics just to test it. And we should be able to see this thing go up and down and out, in and out today. It's gonna be awesome, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, I'll show you what came in the mail. This is the hydraulic pump that's gonna control the bed. It's got all the controllers and everything looking good. I got the tail lights. I'll show you guys these later. And then the tail light slash mud flap brackets. They got some oval lights in them. Those I'm gonna get on mounted today too. I have a lot to do today. It's gonna to be a late day. I wanna, I have so much to get on here today. I wanna to get the bed on, I wanna get the tail lights mounted, and I wanna get the brackets for our, the air tanks hopefully done today. So, follow along guys. The bed's gonna move. Oh, I'm so excited, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Another thing I gotta do is get all these neoprene brackets on. Get these bad boys onto these brackets and the adjustable brackets. I'm not going to grease them because I'm only going to put the bed on and uh, go in and out just a couple times. I don't want everything to get all nasty because um, I do have to weld everything still. So I'm just going to bolt them on. I don't think they're going to get destroyed that bad. And in and out a couple times, everything works. Strip it all down and weld her up. I'm going to give this bed a try. Got all the brackets on. Everything's good to go. And I'm trying to think of a game plan to be able to put this bed on by myself and take it off by myself. What I'm thinking is resting the front of the bed onto here and then shifting the skid steer to the back of the bed and lifting up and giving it a push. I'm gonna give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? I'm gonna let it rip. Oh, I'm so excited. And then I'm gonna hook up the hydraulics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been such a long wait until this day and it's finally here, getting this bed on. And then we can keep fabbing everything else around the bed and seeing how the bed works. Ready 
for the strongman competition. <laughs> Oh, that looks so cool. It pretty much lined up absolutely perfect. It's got to slide forward like another six inches. But, oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. It just lined up right in there. I measured so good. I'm so glad I know how to use a tape measure. That is awesome. All right, if I can hit this car over here with this piece of two by four, you have to subscribe to the video.